Niall, the um, company Oracle has has taken you on. You've got a really, really interesting past in the, in the whole sports world, taken in Man United, Nike. Tell us a bit about yourself and why uh, you were drawn to Oracle. Well, I think uh, initially I was a professional athlete, and I think there's a real synergy between what I did and what Oracle currently did, so does. So I think uh, I think that that's an important point that um, I understand athletes as well. I previously res represented Ireland in five World Championship, uh, Championships and one Olympic Games. And sadly, I got injured. So I do know what athletes go through and the frustrations that um, that can cause. Um, and I think I can bring those learnings into uh, dealing with professional athletes um, from an Oracle point of view. Um, when I left, uh, when, I, when my career ended, I ended up getting a real job. Um, so basically, I joined a company. I joined Nike, who I'm sure we all know. Um, and I worked with them for 11 years. Um, for the last five years, then um, I had a, a really exciting role working as the club um, business manager from on Manchester United. And that role was really interesting, very varied, anything from um, working on design insights of jerseys, products, making sure the, pl the product performed, signing off on a jersey with Sir Alex Ferguson, which was always an interesting uh, um, experience. But then bringing that product to market and launching it from a brand point of view, and then leveraging um, the, the players and their contractual rights across social media from a brand point of view. Um, and then we're driving global strategic plans across key markets um, from a Nike and Manchester United point of view. Um, so, uh, but since then, I've then um, I've, I've joined Oracle as the commercial director. Really, really excited. Um, it's been a bit of a whirlwind start, but I'm really excited to be on board and working with uh, the, the world class team, um, headed up by Dr. Brian Moore, um, who was one of the key reasons why I joined Oracle. And what is it that Oracle does, uh, and, and where do you hope to bring it to? Because um, Analytics is becoming the language of the 21st century. Everything is going to be driven by analytics and sports is an area of huge investment, uh, not only from the point of view of clubs and, and, and teams, but the point of view of the consumer as well, the punter. Tell yeah. us a bit about how, data, how Oracle helps, hopes to uh, shape this world. Great. Well, first and foremost, um, as you rightly said, we work with world-class professional athletes. That's our, our sweet spot consumer right now. They're the sharp point of everything that we do. So working with anyone from a, a Premier League football team to a professional golfer to a, an NBA team or Major League Baseball, really guys that are really at the top, guys and girls who are at the very top of their, of their game, literally, and, and we try to make them better. Um, so that, that's the first point as well. One of the things that I keep hearing from all the professional teams that I'm speaking to is they've all got a lot of data or data, um, as the Americans would say, um, driven across from blood work, from like even speaking to athletes, from GPS technology as well. But they're not quite sure how to leverage it fully and maximize that, that, that information. I think that's where Oracle really adds, adds a real value um, to professional sports teams as well. And we do that through our world-class um, um, sports performance team across biomarkers, across data analytics and then we, we provide re recovery solutions so what we do is we really enhance decision making we provide solutions to help athletes make them better we limit injuries which is hugely beneficial to a professional sports team i mean if you look at some of the stats from uh, american sports organizations that have been banded around you're talking hundreds of millions of dollars or dollars that are, are, are basically wasted on athletes that are sitting on literally what people would call the bench Mm. So um, that so if we can keep an athlete on the court, on the pitch, on the course a lot longer, I think we're we are absolutely adding value as well. So Oracle has really uh, bol uh, boosted its management team in the last few months. You've come on board. Uh, Keith Wood is coming on board. Gray McDowell is on board. Uh, you've got people like Porrick Harrington using the technology. Teams like uh, Newcastle are using the technology. Can you tell me a bit about uh, the direction of the company from here. Where you see it going. Uh, Currently, you're focused on the professional teams. Do you see a, a wider future for Oracle? Absolutely, yeah. But just to reiterate what you said, I mean, that's one of the reasons why I joined um, Oracle. It's a hugely exciting time for the, for, well, for me personally, but also for for the wider company as well. Absolutely, I was the reason I made a huge decision, life-changing decision to leave Nike. It wasn't an easy decision, but I, I was very, um, I was very impressed by by certainly I referenced him earlier, Dr. Brian Moore and his leadership and the passion that he has for the company as well. So that was the first one of the main one of the reasons. But I think, as you rightly said, the board that's involved now, Keith Wood coming on board, hugely exciting. Having pe been able to interact with people like Graham McDowell and um, Tom Killalay, who's ex Amazon as well, um, headed up by our, and then our chairman John Maloney. This gives me a lot of it. that obviously made it much more a much easier decision for me to join then in terms of um, the excitement of who we're working at yeah absolutely the, currently the sweet spot consumer is the target audience is the elite athletes I think we, we obviously want my role is to seek sign and serve the best athletes in the world that's male that's female that's teams that's individuals as well and we're currently going
gone through that process. We are partnered with a number of, of world-class teams, as I referenced earlier, but certainly we want to sign more. Um, nearly literally take on the world, um, even coming from Ireland. And uh, it's, a brave, it's a brave call, but something we're, we're, we're excited about doing. Um, but I think where we want to get to then eventually is then really use the... Um, these professional athletes, they inspire consumers on a day-to-day -day basis. And I think there's a, there's a huge, if you want to scale Oracle, there's, there's a huge opportunity from a weekend warrior point of view. So the guy like me, unfortunately, now has not an elite athlete. He's out on his bike and um, doing 60 mile rides, he's in the gym, but, but also wants to improve. How do I improve my 5K? How does she improve her 10K? Run a better Dublin marathon? All these things. And we can use the learnings that we've got. One, we'll use the, the professional athletes to inspire the, the weekend warrior, but also then take the learnings of and um, the work that we're doing. And how, if we can improve a professional athlete, then we're, we're highly confident that we can we can make a difference to the lifestyle and the performance and fitness of a, of a weekend warrior as well. So that, that's really the longer term vision, but certainly we'll be grounded still in the professional athletes.